Hi, good morning everyone. How are you doing? My name is Huang. I'm here today to present my speech about a fishy subject. Since I'm not very good at public speaking, I hope my presentation will make you fall asleep. Before I start, let me tell you one of my unforgettable stories in my life. 25 years ago, my family and I came from Vietnam to the United States at permanent residence. Since I was the only one who could speak English, the local government had assigned me as a translator on the plan to help other uh, minority groups. About 20 people who could not speak or understand English at all. I accepted and did a good job for the first few hours during the flight. Before I left Vietnam, the local government reminded me not to forget following John Adam, who was also on the flight with us to the U.S. as well. Um, I had made my mark to identify him by his bright red jacket from the back. At the Tokyo airport, we had to transfer to another plan in order to get to the U.S. So I kept following John with my family, plus 20 other people behind me. Somehow and some way, I lost him somewhere, and I didn't realize until the man that I thought was John entered into the main bathroom. He suddenly quick turned around and looked at us, and by that time, I know that he was not John Adam. I looked at my time, and I realized that we only had 15 minutes left to get to that plan. I was so nervous, and I thought that I totally missed that. I immediately stopped one of the flight attendants who were walking by. I told him the situation. Uh, he immediately looked at my paper and called the gate to wait for us. I can never forget that moment of my life because of me missing John. All of us had to run as much as we can uh, in order to catch that plan. We did it, but we were all exhausted after that. Coming to the U.S. and getting all these opportunities really changed my family and the 20 people who accompany us their life forever and for better. Well, I told you the story to let you know who I am and that I really come from a fish-eating country. Today, I'm going to talk about the harmful effect of eating fish during pregnancy and breastfeeding. And it is all based on the extensive research I have conducted, the doctors that I have been interviewed, and the study I was able to read about in the medical journals and the websites. Well, again, I would like to thank you for all of you being here today to listen to my speech about should pregnant nursing mother eat fish. As you know, the FDA and the EPA each have different recommendations about eating fish and how much fish is safe to consume during pregnancy. Fish and selfish are both good to, uh, for healthy diet because they are chock full of proteins and nutrition. But eating too much of it would cause problems in the feathers development and growth. The risk is high mercury toxin would be found in fish. It might harm and lead to the unborn child retardation of brain, neurological development, in case of nursing women, it can expose the infant to the toxin, which can be harmful to the baby growth. Even though research showed that women who are pregnant, who are nursing mothers, do not have any health concern, it is the unborn and the young child who are at risk. According to the water EPA, high level of mercury in the bloodstream of unborn babies and young children may harm the developing nervous system. Therefore, the FDA and the EPA had designed a fact sheet on mercury consumption for people to follow when needed. Both agencies have sent out the same recommendation that pregnant women and children can safely consume eating fish up to 12 ounces per week, except special fish like shark and marlin, because they contain very high toxin of mercury. Besides that, they should not eat canned white tuna more than 6 ounces per week. Even though some recommendation that eating tuna is safe, it's still the most controversial. In addition, mothers who breastfeed should avoid eating those fishes. They also should limit eating canned tuna if good as well. There also a concern that the level of mercury are not toxic to adults, but it may create an expose uh, for the feathers in developing. 
the three issues that I'm going to discuss here today uh, and hopefully my discussion will uh, give you all the information and data to understand the importance of pregnant women and nursing mothers' consumption of fish. The three issues are mercury level lead to health effects, mercury highly toxic to mothers and mercury poisonous to babies. Um, it accumulates over time in the body, consume at high level mercury over a long time, long-term exposure cause brain damage, kidneys problem, and defect on the lungs. Short-term exposure cause skin rashes, memory loss, and shakiness. For mercury with high toxins to mothers, transfer onto nursing babies, developmental small head circumference, hard to become pregnant. And last but not the least, we have to remember that mercury is poisonous to babies, impact on memory, attention, language, and other special skills. What is mercury? Mercury is converted to mercury primarily by microorganisms, especially aquatic microorganisms found in sediment at the bottom of the sea and the lakes. Such microorganisms are consumed by small fish that are in turn eaten by larger predatory fish, which are consumed by humans. Therefore, mercury is a concentrate up to the food chain. Smaller fish tend to accumulate less mercury, where larger and older fish concentration is much more. Besides that, the mercury is a neurotoxin and stay building up in the nervous system and brain which is harmful to fetus brain development. In addition, to damage the nervous system, it could lead to death as well. The mercury levels depend on the environment and location, so the mercury contamination might vary according to the different areas. Larger fish like shark and marlin have higher mercury concentration from 5 to 7 times than others. Also, when buying fish at the market, ensure to look at the label to see when that fish came from, does the fish have any mercury contamination, and if it's safe to eat. But the EPA estimates about 600,000 children born in year 2000 have lower intelligence and also have difficulty in learning. These children have been exposed to high mercury levels either during pregnancy or by nursing mother at their mothers. Consume too much fish that contain high toxic mercury. Besides, studies also show that mother who ate too much fish caused the baby delay in talking, walking, and also other skills. In general, babies are harmful uh, more by the exposed to mercury than the adult. In general, uh, especially in the country like Italy and Portugal, babies have been exposed to mercury and many consequences have been found like brain problems and negative outcomes. Beside all of that article, um, an epidermicology um, Epidemiological analysis of the of the autism as mercury poisoning. Dr. David Austin um, attempt to explain the association of autism to mercury poisoning. He also defined that autism as a nuclear development disorder. He stated that in America it affects roughly one out of every 150 children and is characterized by severe impairment in socialization, communication, and behavior as well. Dr. David Austin claimed that more children are being diagnosed with autism today than in the past. He believed that the children have been exposed to high level of mercury because of the fish consumption. And as a matter of fact, he completed his proof of the matter by noting that the toxin level in blood and urine testing have found mercury levels are higher in children with autism than other in non-autistic. In conclusion, mercury is a neurotoxin and keep up building up in the nervous system and brain with hamper affected brain development. In order to have healthy baby, expecting mother should maintain good health 
eat nutrition food and do not consume fish as it is better to be safe than sorry. I hope you can help the nation and our future generation by